Hey everyone, what's going on? I just wanted to make everyone aware that there is currently an import bug whenever you're importing Razer Chroma designs on your keyboard. I've had lots of messages from viewers recently that say that all of the import designs look different than what they're seeing on my videos. And a lot of that has to do with a current bug that is going around right now. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this issue so that you guys can enjoy the designs that you guys are downloading for your keyboards. All right, so if you look at the most recent design that I made, it's called the fog design. As you can see, there's some random white colored wave patterns. So here is the issue is if I take this design and if I were to export this exact profile and then I'm going to go and I'm going to import that same exact file, you're going to see that the design looks a ton different like way different this is the new imported file it always adds a one so fog one so if i click on that you can see once it loads up here the design looks way different it's like there's a wave pattern that's masking over the whole entire design so i'm going to show you guys how to fix this oftentimes it will be a significant layer so it looks like there's a wave pattern that's going over the keyboard just a normal basic wave so if you go to the wave layer, the wave effect layer, what you need to do is just select any of these lighting zones and control C to copy the effect that's on it. And all you have to do is delete the effect on this effect layer. So you can delete any one of these lighting zones and it'll return to normal. So if I just select my escape key and I delete the effect on there, boom, it instantly goes back to being how it's supposed to be. And then you can select your key and paste your effect back on there. So here is another example of another bug issue with importing designs. I'm, I just imported my Tis the Season Christmas design and this is what it looks like. It looks like a normal spectrum cycling layer with red, green, and blue. It's just passing back and forth. Um, as you can see right here, there's several effect layers here, and the top one is Spectrum Cycling. If you look closely, whenever I select Spectrum Cycling here, there is no green effect keys lighting zones anywhere. So there is no green lighting zones. I don't even have the Spectrum Cycling effect on any of my keys. But if you go and remove this layer, all you have to do is remove that spectrum cycling layer and it instantly goes back to being how it's supposed to look. So I don't really understand that one, but that's how you fix that one. To quickly diagnose which effect layer you need to be adjusting, just kind of look at your keyboard, look what it looks like. If it looks like a spectrum cycling layer is kind of overriding what your design is supposed to look like, then you're gonna to wanna to go to the spectrum cycling effect layer and make your deleted adjustment. If it looks like there's a wave pattern going over your keyboard and it's not supposed to, just go to the wave effect layer on your Synapse Studio. Delete one of the lighting zones. Don't forget to copy it and just paste it right back on and it'll look just like it's supposed to after that. So I hope this video helped you guys um, fix the designs when you're importing them. I hope they start looking like normal. I do understand that Razer may patch this in the future, but you can use this as a tool to kind of help you do some troubleshooting if you find other bugs like this that pop up in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always if you guys are into razor chroma profiles check out my website unrealhero.com to find all of my razor chroma designs that you can download on your razor compatible devices thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video